YouTube, your boy Wicked Beats, back in the building with another video. I know I ain't hit y'all with another video for a couple of days since I've been down in Florida, but I got back from Florida uh, Sunday night, you know, got back, got up, went to work Monday, everything good. So when I got home Monday night, man, I just got this big headache, like, you know, I, I done had headaches. You know, I get headaches and stuff like that, but this one here was something serious. I mean, I had never experienced a headache like that. You know what I'm saying? So Monday night, headache came. Couldn't even sleep through the night. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, well, damn, what the hell going on? So, of course, you know, first thing nowadays come to mind, damn COVID. So I didn't go to work. Uh, Tuesday, um, <clears throat> tried to find me somewhere to go take a test on Tuesday, couldn't find nothing. The only available thing was uh, Thursday, which is today. So yesterday, just kind of laid around, you know, the house just kind of, you know, I never lost my appetite, uh, no other symptoms, just pretty much just, you know, the headache, the headache part. But, um, yeah, I had that headache, man. So I went on ahead and set me up an appointment. Got an appointment today at 2.45. So I'm actually getting ready to go over there and see, see what's going on, man. And one thing I'll tell y'all about it, that headache is something, something serious. So, I mean, I'm not claiming it right now, but hey, I'm going to go take the test, see what it come back. And if it's positive, be quarantining for the next 14 days. But, I mean, last night, the headache went away and it haven't came back yet, even today. You know, I'm straight today. I can eat, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, no other symptoms. I can eat and everything. So, no headache today or nothing. I'm, I'm Gucci. But I still want to go see what's going on. That just might be the effects. It might come and go or something like that. I don't really want to play with it, you know, and be spreading it to nobody else. So, I'm about to go down here and get checked out, see what they say, and um, I'll get back with y'all, man. Y'all pray for the boy, all right? Wicked Beats in a minute. All right, man, in the whip. About to go ahead and head down here. It's a little early, but it don't matter. Yeah, they might be able to go ahead and get me in. You know, it's hot as hell out here, I know that. Should get there a little early, but it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Be early sometime. Shit, 92 degrees, hot in the mud. Yeah, man, I'm gonna check back with y'all when I get down that way. Alright, man, I'm getting off on the exit right here. At Glenwood, Glenwood Avenue, that's down here with a, with a spot at actually it's a church. Uh, look like that might be up there on the right hand side. So I'm about to go ahead and pull in here and see if they'll go ahead and check me out the full time. It is 2.14 right now. My appointment is for 2.45. So, you know, the worst thing, I just get in line. If I have to wait, then I just got to wait. Yeah. Just talking anyway. Yeah, man, but if y'all feel sick, man, like I said, only symptoms I had was a headache. Other people had different symptoms, vomiting, diarrhea, you know, cough, all of that stuff. You know, I, I didn't have none of that. Just pretty much a headache. Make, it, make sure y'all go get yourself checked out, man. Pull up in here, see what's going on, man. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. 
course I gotta go in on the other side. Yeah, man, let me get off this thing, man. Let me get in here. Yeah, man, so, so far, pretty simple. Pull up, scan the little QR code that you got online. And now I'm just waiting on them to come to the car, man. Up under the little testing, little testing tent right here. Yeah, man, just like that, it's done. I don't know, you see my eye watering right there, man. They put that thing all the way in my damn, in my damn brain, man. Got my damn eyes watering. Like, shit. They should be able to check, check everything from doing that, touching your brain. They check your IQ, see how smart you is and everything. <clears throat> but... The good thing about it, man, that it is done. Hold on, man. Let me let me switch cameras, right? Hold on one second. Yeah, man. Like I said, it's done, man. Them folks went all up in my damn, all up in my damn brain with that motherfucker, man. So now I gotta wait and uh. Gotta wait, check the website, we can track it and everything. This this what they gave me right here. No. You know, so I can go on there and track it, I think she said, but about within within three to five days. But the good thing about it, man, I was able to just drive, drive right up. Got my information that I registered online. That's the easiest way to do it. Register online, set up an appointment. My appointment wasn't until 2.45, like I said, but shit, they ain't had nobody there. So I was able to just drive right up and get it done. So now, shit, I'm on my way. I'm back on the highway on my way back home, man. So once I get my results back, I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to let y'all know what's going on, man, to see if it came back negative or positive. I'm going to let y'all know. Man, when she put that bitch in my nose, she said it's going to be five seconds in your nose. Just look forward. Man, she put that thing in there. I was counting them five seconds, too, because I was going to tell her, hey, that's that's six seconds. Take that mug out. But she took it out exactly five seconds. So we'll wait to see what's going on, man. On the way back to the crib. Over here, over here, boy. A lot of y'all might know the area seen some traffic on the way down but I don't think the traffic say incident on Lee Street so hopefully that's done though yeah man so I done made it back to the house I'm gonna go out here and just chill out Saying just kind of sucks not knowing what's going on. Wish they could have let me know right then, but hey, that's how it worked. 
It's free. It is what it is. Yeah, man, I had a phone call come in. But, yeah, I'm going to tell you how folks act, man. So, this guy supposed to be coming to check my wife's car out. The charger right there. So, the car wouldn't start. You know what I'm saying? So, I texted him by 9 o'clock in the morning and told him, you know, that the car wouldn't start. Can he come take a look at it? So, he asked me what kind of car it was. So, I told him. He said, all right, it'll be later on the day. So probably about maybe about one or two o'clock. Just sending him a little courtesy text, you know what I'm saying? Just making sure, you know, that he was still on, that ain't nothing come up to where he might not be able to make it. So then I got an error message coming back, you know, saying that the number was invalid and all of that. So I made sure I double checked the number. So I'm thinking the cat done blocked me. You know what I'm saying? Now, he done did work on my box Chevy before. You know what I'm saying? He put a fuel pump on there for me. But, I mean, if you, if you don't want to look at the whip, bro, just tell me, you know what I'm saying, whatever. I think him and my partner B end up, you know, falling out for some reason for some bullshit. One that B did, I think he listened to some shit somebody else said and started manning up and calling him. You know, and calling B and seeing what was going on, I guess he just took cat word for it. You know what I'm saying? To me, man, that's flow. You know what I'm saying? You've been cool with B. Shit. Just hit him up and see see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? See if it's any truth to the matter. You know, or whatever the case may be. But I guess that's just too much like right. You know what I'm saying? You can't expect folks to do right. They do what they want to do. True indeed. I ain't tripping because you ain't come look at the car. You know, I'm tripping because I thought maybe, you know what I'm saying, you were man enough that if something was going on, you would just say it or just say you busy or whatever. So, yeah, I just had to tell y'all that, man. That's why my wife car sitting out the door right there. But we're going to get we're gonna get it fixed. You know what I'm saying? I was just, to me, that was just some whole shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I done made it back to the crib, feeling good and everything. So I'm about to just sit down, cool it, chill out for the rest of the day. So I'm going to stay masked up, you know what I'm saying, until we see what's going on. Like I said, if it come back positive, you know what I'm saying, quarantine it is. Come back negative. Everything is everything. And I'll be back to being back, you know. So that's what's up, man. I just wanted to take y'all on this little, little journey with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm always being good spirits, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I am, you know what I'm saying? Even if it do come back positive, I'm going to still be in true spirits because I'm a true soldier. But just keep your boy, keep your boy in your prayers. You know what I'm saying? And we're going we're gonna to hit this thing head on if that's what need to happen. You know? If, if that's what it is, that's what it is. We're going to hit it head on. We're going to run through it. We're going to keep on moving. You know what I'm saying? Look, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, and share the videos. You know what I'm saying? For all of y'all who've been watching the videos, commenting, and sharing the channel, man, I appreciate the love, man. Y'all keep, keep it going, man. Keep it going. Make sure y'all subscribe and hit that thumbs up, man. We got a lot, a lot to go. I'm gonna take y'all on this COVID journey with me, man. So we can see what's going on. Alright. I'm gonna get back with y'all boys, man. Wicked Beats out.